Hi guys, I've calmed down now. Um, basically, I let people get to me and they're not really worth it. I'm going to my mum's today, my mum Jennifer's. I've changed my jeans. This is what I wore to Nando's when I went out to Nando's a few days ago. Um, this person is jealous. If I speak to anybody, if I stroke my dog, Oh, I go out with somebody, this person is extremely jealous. I'm being stalked and I've been driven around the bed basically. So Alexa, what's the time? Alexa, the time? The time is 10.29am. 10.29am, about five minutes ago, my neighbour upstairs, the short stocky man with the boxer's nose, drove outside my flat window, my bedroom window, and um, he got out of his Audi. He took out a big box, he went into the flat, put it in, came out, drove off again. Almost immediately afterwards, two men walked underneath my balcony, near my bedroom window, one with jeans, one with dark glasses on, a younger man with an old with an old man. So it looks like my son walking with an old man. This old man had pure white hair and he had dark glasses on as well. Immediately after my neighbour upstairs drove off and the, the elderly man went uh, underneath my balcony. The builders are building, there's a load of noise. This is my mum rang me up and said, Janestra, would you like to come up at 11 o'clock this morning? 11. Jennifer did. And I told you, whenever my mum rings, there's trouble. If she doesn't want me to go up, she's just got to say so. She doesn't have to have a performance. Alright? Because when I go up there, sometimes she's yawning when I'm speaking. There's not going to be any arguments. So I've let it all out before I've gone up to my mum because she'll sit there, lie back with her mouth open and go oh, like I'm boring sometimes, right? You know, this isn't a comedy show, this isn't a soap opera, this is real life, she's my mum, I'm her daughter and we should be nice to each other and caring and chat about Derek, my dad, you know, that died suddenly it, whilst he was going to the toilet, he crawled across to the floor and he do dropped dead in my mother Jennifer's in his bedroom. Right? He had heart trouble, he had COPD, and every time I went up there he used to tell me to fuck off, he was dying. And now he's dead. Life is short. I don't want to argue, I don't want to shout. And if nobody wants to be with me, so be it. I'll be with myself. Max has got no problem with me. He sits on my lap and we have fun together. Here he is. He follows me wherever I go. I've, ha I've been married for 18 years. I was married. Right? My husband was okay with me. I left him. I left the drunk and the drug addict at Lansdowne Court. I left him. He still came up to me after, after I'd left him. The problem, I don't know where it's stemming from, is probably because I told of my neighbour upstairs that, you know, please keep the noise down. And what is her got to do with it? What is being ugly got to do with keeping, keeping the noise down? Why bring my looks into it? When a person that's bullying me doesn't look all that themselves, they look like a boxer. A short, fat boxer. I mean, don't. And these men, they hit women. I was punched in the face in broad daylight in 2010 by a man. And he punched a woman in the face right in front of spectators at a bus stop who did nothing to help me when my glasses broke on the floor. They just bloody stood there. You know, like when my dad used to hit my mother Jennifer with cider bottles in Mayo Park in London. He used to belt her in the park with
with people watching. What the fuck is this? Beat women up. A man that hits a woman in the face and belts her with cider bottles and people applauding it. that when someone starts to speak the truth and all abuse starts to come out, they will make you feel insecure. They will make women lose their jobs, women lose their children because, you know, the perpetrator says, you're mad. It's her that's doing it. She's the one. And then that paedophile, that child abuser is allowed to keep the children and thrust you into the street with nothing. They are hiding child abuse. They are hiding things that are filthy and dirty and they don't want me to expose them. So if they try to convince people, oh, she's ugly, oh, she's got something wrong with her, and these people believe that, then nobody will listen to what I'm saying. Do you see what I'm trying to say? If they destroy my character and my name, like a certain person is trying to do, maybe he's working for somebody that's telling him to destroy me, right? Then all I, you know, I want to save children. I, want, I had a horrendous childhood. I was being abused almost every day of my life. And I couldn't tell a teacher. Teachers don't believe children. Police don't believe children. They don't. That kid is lying, you know. How can a child defend herself from a six foot two man and be called promiscuous, provocative, the other woman when she's a little girl? Absolute rubbish. So I'm going up to my mum's today, I'm going to write up the diary that I wrote about those two twins that looked like my neighbour upstairs with the Jack Jones t-shirt. There were two dwarves in a car when we filled up at a garage and they looked like the neighbour upstairs. This is my diary, right, which I'm going to finish round the mother's. Um, before I've got, I've got to get a taxi for 11 o'clock here, so I'm trying to fit this in. Monday, 23rd of May, 2022. Two evenings ago, I went out on the field to Rochester with Max, and there was a ginger curly haired young lady on the field with a white bull terrier. So I write it all down. So my neighbours come in, gone off. Somebody murmured, er, uh, underneath the balcony. When I get to my mum's, I'm going to write all that in the diary. They are, some of them are abusing children and covering it up. Some of them are dealing in drugs and fraud and money laundering, and they don't want it all to come out, okay? And what has happened to my dad's money? What has happened to my father's money? You see, I'm, I'm a needle in their side, and they don't like it, and I'm going to keep being in there till I get to the truth. See you later.